and welcome to our 24 option trading platform review brought to you by Roy from online options trading uh, this video is actually part of a full 24 option review on our website feel free to visit there and uh, read the full review so when I first came across 24 options platform actually I thought that it's not much to look at to be honest uh, there is a platform made by tech financial uh, which is completely different from usual stop option spot option platform uh, which I'd say around 80% of the binary options uh, world uses today including some of the larger brokers like any option for example so well the first thing you notice when you log into 24 option is that the platform is really really dark uh, this is actually their trademark colors it's a uh, black and gold so that's basically what you get on the website uh, another thing you'll notice is that the main screen doesn't have any graphs. Uh, usually binary options platforms, uh, they have anywhere between one and six graphs of different assets constantly updating and adding you know, a lot of color to the screen. Uh, well, not on 24 option. So despite my initial impression after trading a bit with 24 option, I've actually come to the conclusion that the trading platform is really good. Uh, what you get in the main screen is actually what you really need in order to trade. So, okay, enough about the intro. Uh, let's get into the actual review. Okay, so now uh, let's start with the standard binary options, the high low. Uh, 24 options for some reason call uh, the standard call put options, they call it high, high low. I don't know why they do it, that's just the way it is. Uh, anyway, the main screen you find a full list of all the options that you can trade, it's all very well organized and with the, the current strike price which they call target price for some reason uh, what payout you'll get uh, for each uh, asset and if it's expiring very soon then you also get a nice little countdown in the status column uh, so I personally prefer trading stock since that's uh, more or less my background I do a little bit of forex and indices when there's some big market news but uh, on that day but generally I stick to stocks uh, so if you want to trade stocks you simply click on the stocks button and uh, just reorganizes everything shows you all the stocks that are currently available for trading if there's something that's not available it'll tell you when you can for instance European uh, stocks so this is actually really nice you don't have to uh, go through millions of different pages to find different stocks different assets you have everything in one page and it's very very easy to, to navigate uh, actually the fact that there aren't any graphs in the in the main sc uh, screen that makes it much easier uh, to find what you want to trade and the the interface is very very responsive so if you actually have another uh, a number of assets that you prefer trading uh, regularly and you want to only focus on them you can actually configure all your settings uh, choose what you want for instance I'm taking all the stocks that they have available uh, I'll take a few of the interesting the more interesting uh, asset uh, indices and some of the more interesting uh, forexes so uh, once uh, you choose uh, your favorites you just save and apply now you've got your own favorite list of assets here ready for trading uh, this is actually really really nice and I actually I enjoy trading like this um, so now if you want to trade something let's take the almighty Apple uh, you finally get the long awaited graph of the asset uh, it's not colorful or anything but it's very very accurate and it's very responsible uh, responsive sorry uh, which is basically what you want from a trading platform uh, the chart goes back around 40 minutes uh, or it can go back the whole day uh, depending on the type of expiry you choose uh, so now in order to put in a trade you simply click in the amount that you want to trade the minimum uh, is $24 uh, for the standard trades, for the short ones for 60 second trading it's uh, $5 if I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure since I don't really trade 60 seconds it's just not my cup of tea uh, now 
just choose high low depending on what you do this graph is very not very uh, uh, easy to to determine since it's 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 got a it's got a nice uh, downtrend so I'm gonna choose low which is basically a put option uh, they have a maximum trade size of about fifty thousand dollars which which is crazy I don't know who'd be crazy enough to buy a fifty thousand option, but I guess you know <laughs> it's a good option to have. Um, it also shows a bit about the stability of twenty four option that they can afford to uh, take a, tw a fifty thousand dollar bid. That's uh, it's pretty impressive. Now the refresh rate uh, of the graph is also really good. It refreshes constantly. Remember, this is a web based platform. It's not a live feed, so. Uh, you can't have by the millisecond refreshing, but still the refresh rate is very, 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 very good. Um, let's just do it say buy. Now, uh, as I said before, I'm a stop trader by nature, so I have access to live level two uh, trading feed, which is accurate by the millisecond. So let's take a few seconds just to compare the two feeds. Okay, we have down here, this is the, the latest graph. Let's uh, make it more similar to what we have over here. That's nice. And here we've got level two, a level two feed showing us exactly what the bid and ask is for this, for Apple right now. Now, as you can see, the market price is always more or less the average of the bid and the ask it's not necessarily the latest the the last uh, purchase price because that would give us a really really large spread and the graph would just go crazy uh, and it's really not fair uh, but if you take a look the the market price really does uh, indicate the average of the level two every time it refreshes which I think is really impressive it's very very accurate uh, so back to the trading tools uh, so all the full uh, and 24 option trading tools you have a regular one and you have a high yield one which is generally just a, a riskier one uh, for high low we have above below here you basically have a, a target price uh, and you need to predict whether the stock is going to or the forex or the asset is going to expire above or below the given uh, target price like i said it's riskier because you've got you have to decide that you don't just need to decide if it's going to go up or down you need to say it's going to go above a certain level uh, but that's also why the rewards are much higher it's between 220 and 360 percent uh, which is, you know, it's a high risk, high reward. Next off, we have One Touch. Uh, here, they basically define a certain target price, either above or below, and uh, you buy an option as to whether or not the asset is going to touch that price, uh, even only once by the expiration. It doesn't need to be above that by expiry. It just needs to touch it once. It's enough. It can touch it and just go way down. And as long as it touched, you're you're good and you're in the money. Uh, if it doesn't touch, then uh, you're out of the money. Again, this is high risk, uh, but uh, you get a very very good reward. Now, uh, generally, uh, spot option platforms they only offer one touch as. Uh, a weekend you can buy them on the weekend and then uh, it has you have the whole week for it to touch a 24 option offer it as an intraday option which is uh, really nice to have uh, boundary uh, this simply means that you need to choose whether the assets gonna expire inside or outside uh, the given boundary that they set up over here uh, again, you've got the, the standard one and you've got the high yield one uh, where I guess the high yield one just gives you a wider boundary which makes it harder to uh, achieve but that also means that uh, 
you'll get higher rewards again 200 to 350 uh, percent short-term options they're your classic speed trading options uh, 24 option recently added two minutes and five minutes speed trading uh, i personally don't like it uh, as i feel it's more of a gamble i know that there are a lot of traders that do like it so i guess it's also it's a good feature to have whether you want to do it or not uh, the good thing about this is that you can also put in a lower trade size again maximum is also going to ten thousand instead of fifty thousand uh, but here the minimum is five dollars so that's it for the 24 option platform as you can see once you f you familiarize yourself with it it's really pretty good and intuitive it's only also really response responsive uh, thanks for watching remember to take a look at the good at the full review at online options trading for some more information on 24 options